Well, weekend number one uh, in the books as we get set for a uh, Monday, rainy Monday card uh, in Saratoga. John Preachy every day on this show in this time slot outside of tomorrow, the dark day, the raid dark day of racing in Saratoga. Every other day, you can hear John Preachy's uh, Saratoga report right here on Big Board Sports, a 104.5 team ESPN radio. And uh, good morning, John. How are you today? I'm doing good. And how's my team doing today? Your team? Uh, well, sure. Us. You and Chris. Oh, we're doing. My team. Yeah. We're all. We're always. We're always doing good. And we had a great Friday. A great crowd up there. Friday, thirty-two thousand. I see about thirty-two thousand on Saturday. I don't know if they thought that was good or bad. It was a great weather weekend to kick things off in Saratoga, and um, the racing has been great. What? Did, let, me, let me start with Lady Eli and your thoughts of of that performance uh-huh. for Chad Brown. Oh man, she just really defined her greatness. She had every possible excuse to get beat in that race. The pace was moderate. Uh, she did not look good to me uh, going postward. Uh, she broke out in a lather. Uh, she was up on her toes, but she was very high on her toes. I, I've never seen her like that. Uh, but in any end, she broke through the gate before the start. And as we said before, the pace was moderate. Uh, I read a tease of uh, Rhoda with just such great confidence. And, you know, he, he tipped her five wide into the lane. And now I'm watching this stretch run, Raj. And you've got Kadura, a very good filly in her own right, who's getting eight pounds from Lady Eli, battling between horses. And I thought that she was going to hold Lady Eli off. And all of a sudden, she lowers her body again and gets to running again and gets there for her ninth victory in 12 lifetime starts with three seconds, all sorts of grade ones. Uh, the fact that she's alive is like half amazing to begin with because Laminitis claims many horses. But to return from that and to return at this level is unbelievable. I know she's on quote-unquote, only a turf specialist, but this is one of the greatest turf mares I've ever seen. Well, you come through the weekend, Chad Brown gets a win there. He ends up with three. Pletcher ends up with three. They were both shut out on the Friday card, but clearly those two are going to be in a battle there. And if you look at the jockeys already, I mean, uh, Irad Ortiz Jr. was six, and Jose Ortiz's brother with five. So that's pretty much as scripted. That's going to be a heck of a race right there. You know, the, the Ortiz brothers are putting on a great show. You know, Chad had three. You know, he had two more in addition to Lady Eli. And the Ortiz brothers also had three apiece that day. So, yeah, it's going to be good. And, you know, and you got to talk about the, low, the slow start, you know, for Javier and Johnny. I mean, they're going to be there. There's no question about it. We're not talking about lack of talent here. Uh, but the Ortiz boys are on some kind of roll. Uh, especially uh, Jose, who you've got to like. John, before we get your best bet of the day at the spa, I, I want to take you out to the West Coast. Arrogate on Saturday, <laughs> I mean, that was a stunner for him to be so heavily favored. Obviously, we know what he did at Saratoga last year in the Traverse. Uh, and to then not hit the board, did, were you watching live, and and how shocked were you at the result? Well, I, I, was, I was sitting by the TV at 9.20, whatever it was back here in the East, and my mouth was just agape because I watched him train. I mean, he didn't train sensationally, and you would expect that mile and a 16th, and you've got the old Dubai bounce factor, but horses have come back before, including the horse he whipped fairly easily in Dubai, Gunrunner, came back and won a grade one. So he didn't have any problems chipping back from Dubai. That was shocking. I was watching it with my wife, and halfway down the back stretch, Chris, I said, hey, honey, he's, he's mm. throwing lines at her already. I mean, this, like, isn't right. And then finally, he grabs the bit, he lengthens his stride, and I said, oh, well, he's lengthening at his stride now. But then he stayed one pace. And when he came into the lane, he had absolutely no action. That was not him. Horses will do that on you. Fortunately, Bob came back said that he's, you know, he's fine. He didn't find any problems. He was just dull, and he is coming back for his next scheduled race in the uh, Pacific Classic, and uh, he will rebound from that one. Unless, for some reason, he absolutely, absolutely hates the surface there at Del Mar. 
All right, let's get to the card today. It's going to be a rainy one. I don't know how that affects your uh, your best bet. Uh, the Express Bet is your is your partner, John. I want to give props to Express Bet for joining us here on Big Board Sports throughout the entire summer. They are with you as your partner, and uh, you deliver their best bet on the radio side of things uh, every day, except for the dark day on Tuesday. Well, I do. We, we'll find out if it's a best bet or not, but I'll tell you what it is, Raj. It's a bankroll play. Got a hundred dollar bankroll play every day, and uh, as you mentioned, uh, this segment is sponsored by Express Bet. Uh, whether at home or at the track, it's your most convenient way to bet Saratoga. And now to the business at hand. And yes, I was aware of the uh, uncoordinated weather that could happen up there. And our feature race today, the Caress, is at five and a half furlongs on the turf. Now, uh, the, the race may remain. On the turf, they like to uh, keep the features on there. But in case they don't and they switch it to the main track, I have a filly that will handle both conditions. Her name is Miss Ella, uh, Graham Motion, whose horses have been very live, uh, trains her. Uh, Joel Rosario rides her like he owns her. This, uh, this filly's got a big weight kick, and there's an abundance of uh, early speed in a turf for sprint, as you would expect. So that dynamic plays to her strength. Uh, she's drawn nicely outside, so that means a clear trip on the outside. I would just hope that Joel will have her covered up a little bit so that she doesn't move prematurely because I know she's going to have to rally wide. But if she kicks the way I know she can, uh, I think she'll get it done. She's 8-1 to one on the morning line. I think 5-1 to one would be fair. So how I'm going to play this, Roger, is the following. I'm going to take... Uh, Miss Ella to win and show thirty dollars to win and thirty dollars to show. I'm also making a pair of ten dollar key box exactors. In other words, I'm using Miss Ella first and second with fair point. This is a Shug McGahey trainee Jose Ortiz rides nine to two on the morning line and Ruby Notion. Eight to one, a very forward looking four year old, Wesley Ward using the guy who gets all his horses ready, uh, Julio Garcia, or Julio Garcia. So that's the play today. It's the 30 win and 30 show on Miss Ella and two $10 exact key boxes, Miss Ella first and second with Fairpoint and Ruby Notion. Sounds like a plan to me, John. Appreciate it, as always. And uh, we'll take a break tomorrow with no racing in Saratoga. Back on Wednesday, and then it'll be a, a busy week leading up to the Jim Dandy on Saturday. Oh, uh, it's the Jim Dandy Saturday and, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the Haskell on Sunday. I mean, this is going to be a big weekend for three-year-olds. And we were just talking about Harrogate. I know you're up against the time. Uh, we were just talking about Arrogate. Well, you know, all we got to do is go back to always dreaming the Derby winner. Look what happened to him in, 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 in Baltimore. So these things happen, and it'll be interesting to see if this horse rebounds, just like it will be interesting to see whether Arrogate rebounds hmm. when he next runs. John Preachy, always a pleasure. We'll talk to you on the Wednesday show. You got it, Roger. Take care, guys. Have a good day.